Giants fans. Welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. And unfortunately, we have more bad news surrounding this New York Giants football team. This time, it's injury news. Not a shocker. The season has been filled with injuries, but now it's with our star left tackle, Andrew Thomas. He has been dealing with a right foot injury for the past couple of weeks, which, ha which held him out in the game against the Dallas Cowboys. And then this week against the Los Angeles Rams, he suffered a left ankle injury. They're calling it a sprain, but he's heading to injured reserve, which is key because that left ankle is the same ankle that Andrew Thomas had off-season surgery last year to. So it's definitely a situation to monitor, and I understand why the Giants are sending him to the IR. It just is unfortunate because Thomas is finally living up to the draft stock of being that fourth overall pick. If Thomas is only going to miss three weeks on the injured reserve, he will be eligible to return Week 11 versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a game the Giants are going to need him for because that Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive line and pass rush is extremely talented. So hopefully Thomas can be back in just three weeks. But this sucks because Andrew Thomas was playing like he was having a great season. Compared to last year, he was one of the worst tackles in the NFL. And this year, he was playing like a guy that was drafted at the top end of the first round. And that's what he was. Last year, there was questions about, will Andrew Thomas be a bust? Will he ever live up to the draft stock? And this year, he was. The stats on screen, you see him right now. He only gave up seven pressures so far this season. Two QB hits, zero sacks, which is huge because last year, he gave up 10 sacks. And he had a PFF pass blocking grade of 76.4, which is a good number in a PFF grading system. It's unfortunate for Thomas. It's unfortunate for this Giants offense. And it's really unfortunate for Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones, he played much better this year with a good left tackle in Thomas. So this Giants offense, I would expect it to struggle more so than it did last week when they scored just 11 points against the Los Angeles Rams. I'm upset about this, but I want to know what you guys are feeling and how you're feeling. All the people watching this video, go down in the comments and let me know what is your one word reaction to the Andrew Thomas injury. Nate Solder, he's going to get some looks at left tackle, but from the things that I'm seeing, he's going to continue to be the starting right tackle, and hopefully he can play better because he has just not done that so far this year. He's played in six games, given up three sacks, and it was no coincidence that the Giants had their best drive of the game last week against the Los Angeles Rams where Nate Solder was not the right tackle. So unfortunately, he's going to be back out there, but if there is something to be happy about or something to look forward to if you're a Giants fan, it's that the Giants will finally get to evaluate Matt Peart, the former third-round draft pick in the 2020 NFL Draft out of UConn. When he was drafted, he was a guy that had potential and was someone that was going to need game work and be able to get on the field and get his feet wet because he was a raw prospect. But he had all the tools to be a successful tackle in this league. And now that Andrew Thomas is going to be out for maybe these next three games, it is important for, Tom, for uh, Matt Peart to show that he's going to be able to be a starting left tackle or right tackle in the National Football League. And it's going to be big for Giants brass, whether that's Dave Gettleman, whoever's making the decisions in the upcoming NFL draft. They're going to need to know if Matt Peart is going to be able to be a starting tackle in this league. And if not, they're going to have to find his replacement coming up in the 2022 NFL draft. Guys, if you love the New York Giants, if you want free daily content surrounding the New York Giants, whether it be news, rumors, trade rumors, the NFL trade, trade deadline is just a few weeks away, or when Dave Gettleman is fired, if you want a video on that, this is the channel for you. Go down and hit that big red button and subscribe. We are almost at 2.5K subs. Right now we're at 2,415. We are right there, and I want to get there on this video. So if you love the Giants, and if you want free daily videos around Big Blue, go down and hit that big red button. Is it time to fire Dave Gettleman? If you're a Giants fan, if you love the Giants, or if now if you hate them, everyone's been talking about it. Is it time for Dave Gettleman to be escorted out of town? The Giants under Dave Gettleman, they are 17 and 38, which is the worst record in the NFL since Gettleman took over. The Giants, this was a win now offseason, if you ask John Marr, the co-owner of the New York Giants. They spent $200 million this offseason and are off to an amazing one and five start. After last year starting 0 and 6 and this year being 1 and 5, the hot seat for Dave Gettleman, it's heating up and he can't do anything about it. Dave Gettleman, 
It's going to be important for the Giants to make a decision on him. I think they need to fire him right now because the Giants, they have big decisions to make coming up in the 2021-2022 NFL offseason. They're going to have two first-round picks, probably in the top 15. And if you want Dave Gettleman making those picks, if you want Dave Gettleman calling the shots on whether they need to re-sign Evan Ingram or Jabril Peppers or anything else in NFL free agency, you need to decide now because it can't be Dave Gettleman making those shots those calls, it's just not It's not going to be okay. It's time for them to move on. Cut your losses. Dave Gettleman, he is not the guy for this job. And I want to know what you guys have to say about this. Go down in the comments and sound off for me. Should the Giants fire Dave Gettleman right now? If you think they should, go down in the comments and type your why for yes. Or if you want Dave Gettleman to continue to be the general manager of the New York Giants, go down and type your end for no. This is a quote from Dave Gettleman's introductory press conference where he told everybody that he was going to save the New York Giants. He was going to come in here and kick ass. But this is the one quote that's always stuck with me because these were his keys to victory. One, you got to run the ball. You got to stop the run and you got to put pressure on the passer. Well, in year four of the Dave Gettleman experience, the Giants, they are not doing any of those things very well. Right now, they are 25th in the NFL in rushing yards per game. They are 29th in rushing yards allowed, and they are 30th in pass rush win rate. So De Gettleman's three keys to victory in four years. He hasn't got this team to a level where they can compete in any of those aspects of the game. Dave Gettleman, he is a fraud. He came into this organization and said he was going to do everything he could under his power to get the New York Giants back to being a respectable team. He said day one, he was going to fix this offensive line. He hasn't done that. He's ignored that position. And he said he was going to get the hog mollies on here, in, in here in the New York Giants, and he hasn't done so. Injuries happen to every team. Everyone's saying, Marshall, you got to relax. The Giants, they're injured. Everyone on this team is injured. But the, this, is the, this is the thing, guys. Every NFL team deals with injuries. You have to have depth to be a successful team in the NFL. And right now, the Giants, they have no depth. It's, I mean, watch the game against the Los Angeles Rams. It looked like a varsity versus junior varsity football game. The Rams, they are a great team in the NFL. And the Giants, they are not. And you saw why this past Sunday. It was absolutely embarrassing to, be, to, to say I'm a New York Giants fan and watch a game like that. And it all falls on the shoulders of Dave Gentlemen, he's the one that built this team. He's the one that calls the shots. And right now, we are the laughing stock of the NFL for the fourth year in a row. But I want to know what you have to say about this. One. We got a list coming up. So if you've forgotten some of the blunders that Dave Gettleman has made as being the shot caller for the New York Giants, I'll remind you in just a second. But go down in the comments right now and let me know what Dave Gettleman move upsets you the most. I came up with the list, and it was hard to narrow it just down to five. But if I had to say so, these are the five worst moves that Dave Gettleman has made so far as the New York Giants general manager. No order. Number one, trading for Alec Ogletree. That was your first move of business when you took over for the New York Giants. You gave up a fourth and sixth round pick for him, and it did not work. Alec Ogletree, he was absolutely terrible with the New York Giants, and I'm surprised he's back in the NFL because he is not the definition of a modern-day linebacker. Move number two, that was absolutely just terrible. Signing Nate Solder. Four years, $72 million, and he has been one of the worst starting tackles in the NFL since joining the New York Giants. Absolutely brutal. Another blunder by Dave Gettleman. The entire 2018 draft class. I want to read you off that draft class because... It's absolutely embarrassing. Saquon Barkley, no doubt about it. He's a great player. He's a great talent. But anytime you pick a running back second overall in the NFL draft, when you're, when you're drafting for a team like the Giants that have holes all over their roster, you're going to be ridiculed. And the second round you drafted, Will Hernandez. It, at the time, it seemed like a good pick. You were trying to build this offensive line, but Will Hernandez has been absolutely terrible since entering the NFL, and this will probably be his last season with the New York Giants. Round three, Lorenzo Carter. He was supposed to be this freakish, athletic edge rusher out of Georgia. Hasn't been that. Not an impact player. B.J. Hill, you traded him for Billy Price. Billy Price, he is one of the worst starting centers in the NFL. In the fourth round, you drafted Kyle Lalletta, who was eventually arrested a couple we months, weeks later, and now he's not in the NFL anymore. In the fifth round, you drafted R.J. McIntosh, someone you cut before this season, who is also 
not someone that is an impact player. That 2018 draft class, one of the worst in recent memories for this Giants organization. Blunder number four, signing Golden Tate. Four years, $37.5 million. He was pegged to be this anti-OBJ, team guy, team first guy. All he wants to do is win. He doesn't care about stats, but he was absolutely the opposite of that. He was a troublemaker. He was a, can he was a cancer to this team, and he was not a team culture guy. And by the way, he was absolutely washed and was not the same player you signed him to. And the last one, number five, trading up for DeAndre Baker. You traded back into the first round to select DeAndre Baker. Sure, you didn't see the off-the-field off the red flags. You didn't think he'd do dumb stuff and get arrested. But now he's back in the NFL, and he doesn't even start for the Kansas City Chiefs, who is one of the worst defenses in the NFL. So not only did you draft a convict, you drafted a player who is absolutely terrible and doesn't even deserve to start for one of the worst defenses in the NFL. Dave Gettleman. You screwed this up, man. You had a great opportunity to bring the New York Giants back, but you're leaving them in worse shape than when you got there. Just absolutely upsetting for myself and all New York Giants fans that love Big Blue. If you guys want to talk more New York Giants football, you can hit me up on Twitter, at MarshallGreen underscore. I'm tweeting about the Giants daily, and I'm trying to get my Twitter cloud up, and I want my followers to be full of New York Giants fans. So hit me up, follow me, and send me a DM so I know that you're coming from this video.